What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday. Today's topic, Monday Madness. Let's talk about it. So before we get this party started, I wanna go ahead and say thank you for everybody for being part of this journey with me. Thank you for riding along with me. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, your follows, your comments, and just the messages and the support that I'm getting. Um, this is all brand new to me, and what a better way to experience it with having people behind you, having your friends with you, lifting you and supporting you. I, I appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Um, all your comments and everything like that, that just helps me continue to do these uh, daily uh, videos. So before we talk about our topic, I wanna talk about this shirt. Look at that. That is a masterpiece. And it matches the background a little bit. Look at that. Goes in, goes out. Goes in, goes out. Anyways, I don't wanna lose track. I'll be like playing around with this little thing. I'll pop them in, pop them out every now and then. Um, but as you can see, the thumbnail, the, the topic for today is, is Monday. Um, I think Ric Flair said it best. Woo! That matches perfect for Mondays. Mondays are just like a straight feet down. Um, that's why, like I said in my previous videos, I like to be in church on Sundays because it preps me. It's it, My week starts on a Sunday instead of a Monday. And um, being in church, you know, you get all those people that are like, let me put some hands on you, brother. Let me pray for you. And I'm like, yes, because I know what's coming. I know what's coming on the next day when I wake up. So... Um, on my way to work today, <laughs> even my wife was like, you know what, let's go ahead and take some time because I got there a little early. Let, let's take this time and pray. I'm like, please, please, please. And I needed it. My God. Today was rough. I don't know if anybody else has a corporate job that, you know, they either answer phones or um, gets emails or just any kind of office job. Um Every time I walk in, you know, I'll come in a little early. I got my coffee. I got my, my laptop. I'm ready to go. And it's going to be a solid, straight 10 hours of work. But then I think of uh, scenes like um, the Wall Street, you know, when that bell rings. And I'm looking at that phone. I'm like, oh, my God. I put my little headset on. I'm like, oh, please, please, please don't be a, a pack of wolves who are just waiting to come down on me. And yeah, there was. It went beep, beep, beep. I got a phone call, text message, and an email. Actually, several emails. And then my emails were already full. Um, the kind of corporate uh, job that I have, it deals with surgeries. It deals with optical surgeries. So they're working on cataracts. So those people already start their day. They're like waiting for you. They're just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you better pick up this phone. You know. So right when that 730 mark hits, they're on there. And then we deal with the reps and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it was, it, was, it was a pretty rough day. Um, but I don't want to talk about problems. <laughs> That's not any kind of motivation to you. Um, it just comes out because it feels like these are therapy sessions for myself. And hopefully uh, someone out there that's watching this, it's like a little therapy for you. Maybe a little comedic thing. Um, I, I like to be real when I talk. I don't like to, to hold anything back. Today was a straight kick in the nuts. <laughs> I mean, it's like you just went, Whoa! and you just grabbed yourself, and you can't breathe. You know, you're just like, oh, my God. And then you turn around, and there's another kick, you know? 
it's it 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 it, it can play on you. You know, it it, it can um, either get you you mad through the day, or upset, stressed out, tense, frustrated. Um, all those things wrapped up. It could be just a whole big ball of emotions um, because it's rough. You know, Mondays, some people call out, you know, they have vacation, they're sick. Um, so that team that you're depending on all of a sudden gets dwindled down. So you know what that happens. When it gets dwindled down, that means there's still all that work, but a smaller funnel. So it's funneling straight to you. So I, I, I the way I get through my day, is like I said, I don't listen to music anymore um, while I work because I need something something that's gonna be more powerful to get me through the day. So I listen to my favorite speakers in my ear all day long. And that helps me kind of just throw out all the negative stuff. Because I, 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 even though it, it's a rough day, I, I don't verbalize that. I don't get up and say, God dang, will these calls stop? You know, I don't, I don't do none of that. And there's a lot of people around me that do. And what happens is, it's like those little birds. If a bird goes off on one side, another bird's gonna go off. And then all of a sudden you gotta And that does nothing, that doesn't help. It doesn't make the day go any faster. It actually makes it longer. Sorry about that, I made a rookie mistake and my iPhone got full and I got that little box that said, hey, you got too much shit on your phone. Um, so like I was saying, the way I deal with it is I leave everything at the door. I don't bring any of that home. As soon as, as soon as I get in the car, I'm over with. Actually, you know what? I'm over but as soon as I just clock out. Boom. It's like a, it never even happened. I don't bring none of that home. I don't uh, put it on my kids. I don't, I don't bring any of that negativity in my door. Uh, just like with everything else in my life. Everything stays out. That is my comfort zone. That is where, uh, my safe zone. That is where nothing, no problems come into there. Now, granted, we'll have our own family problems, you know, our little tiffs and, and fights and stuff like that, or whatever the case is, but work, keep it over there. And and that's something that you, sh you should practice more. Me, <laughs> too. Uh, it, it's, it's not easy. Because you know we're human, we want we want to talk about how bad of a day we had and stuff like that. But it doesn't do anything, especially with Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday coming. You still got four more days of that. So it's best to just change your your your, your mentality on well Sunday. But if you don't go to church on Sunday, change it on Monday. When I get in the car and and, I, and I'm driving home, I'm like, man. I take a minute because you know you've been on the phones all day long you kind of just don't really have that much to say um and then I'm, I'm driving down the road and i see a car broke down on the side or i see a homeless person with their signs you know and then I, it puts things back into perspective uh for me it reminds me hey you know what i got a job and then it takes me back to when i didn't have a job when I didn't have money, when I was struggling, when I was trying to, to provide for a family, that stress and all that. So I, it, it made me realize, hey, you know what? I, I, I need this job, which I do, you know? I need this and I need our photography company. Well, I need our photography company to just blow up so I can just do that. Um, but those are goals, you know, that, that's, that's long-term goals. Uh, to achieve long-term goals, you have to do short-term goals. Well, on top of Monday's disaster of, of work, I decided to um, make another big change in my life, which is, you know, I've been working on my um, spiritual self. I've been working on my emotional self, my mind. Uh, I decided today I'm going to work on my, my physical side. So... Um, apart from waking up early, I actually, I actually work up, woke up earlier than that. I woke up at five and I hit the gym. I have a little boxing gym in, in our house and I hit that. That was rough, especially a treadmill. Um, but then you see people like 
uh, David Goggins, and then you see like The Rock and all those other people there up at like four in the morning. I try to tell my wife, I'm like, look, you know, those are movie stars, those are actors, those are people that don't have a lot of the pressures of, of being at work like that. You know, they're, sorry, let me, let me step back. They have the pressures of making movies and stuff like that, but their income is at a different level. When you're dealing with people like us, real people, we got to work for that stuff. We, we got to go to work. Um, and that, that it makes it a little hard, you know, trying to do work on your physical side because you got to slot out more time on that. So I woke up early, went to the gym, hit the gym in the morning. And the way my body works is I got a shock in. So I worked out in the morning. I came home, hit the gym again. Took a shower, come on here, talking to you. Then after this, I got to go back and edit this and then get to the editing of that what I have of all of our events that we've been doing in the senior sessions and quinceaneras and uh, videos and everything else that goes with our business. So I'm going into part two mode of my day. So I said I wasn't going to come on here and just complain about my problems, but obviously a lot of that stuff came out. Um, Find your motivation, you know what I mean? Fill your, your head with good stuff. Fill your head with positivity. Fill your head with um, appreciation, you know? Accomplishments. You work through a long day and you come home to your family. You're able to provide for them, like I said, and um, we get to do it tomorrow. So thank you for listening to me today. Ramble on about my day. Um, thank you for looking at this awesome shirt again, and, uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. Hopefully it's not going to be a beat down and we don't have to do any more Ric Flares. Whoa. Um, so as always, thank you for watching my videos and uh, continuing this journey. If you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button and we'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.